We're here at the Aston Martin booth here at the New York International Auto Show, and I am so excited about this car. It is the car that I've come to see. It is the Aston Martin's Vulcan. There's only 24 of these cars being made, and they've already sold about half of them at a cool $2.7 million. Incredible, right? And this bad boy was made to drive on a track not really to go to the grocery store with. It has these side fuel exhausts, and it makes this rumble like you wouldn't believe. This car, you will hear coming about a mile away. This bad boy is amazing. Definite must-see here at the auto show. I'm Amy Bursar for IPA, and let's kick it over to Andy to see what he's up to. I'm just curious, but where did you wake up this morning? This morning I woke up in my bed, not in a new Bugatti, which is right behind us. Amy, tell us about this awesome vehicle. Well, this Bugatti behind me is one of two of the last Bugattis made. There was only 450 of these bad boys made, and this is the last of two. And I think you were getting some facts and info. What's the top speed on this car? Well, the top speed, you can get this car up to 268 miles per hour. Is that not crazy? And you could, if you get that fast, you will blow the gas tank in about 10 minutes. Oh boy. Did you mention the price tag? Oh yes. To buy one of these bad boys, it is $2.25 million. $2.25 million. Oh so my goodness. So wrap up this last one and I'm going to take it home. <laughs> Yeah, you think maybe if I drove one of these, you'd want to roll with me? No. No, still. It'd be my car. <laughs> of course it would be. Well, I'm going to go saunter on over that way and find something else cool. And you catch up with me. All right. Well, we're here with Bugatti and the last of their two cars. And let's take it over to Andy. We are at the very large and lovely Porsche booth display presentation at the New York International Auto Show, and we are here with Calvin Kim. And what's your title at Porsche again? I'm the Product Experience Manager for Porsche Cars North America. Very impressive. Product Experience Manager. Now, you have some great products that people love experiencing. Tell us what is new, what's exciting about Porsche. Well, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, behind us is a 2015 Porsche 911 Targa 4 GTS. Uh, it's a mouthful, but basically what that means is it's a Targa, which has a characteristic uh, convertible top, but with the roll bar. Uh, GTS means it has extra power, uh, some standard options that uh, kind of emphasize the sporty nature of the car. Um, it's equipped fantastically here. Uh, base price is 130,000 or thereabouts. Uh, and the sky's the limit as far as how you can customize it. All right. Base price you mentioned. How about this one right behind us? What's the uh, sticker tag on that? This one's a little, a click over 170. All right, a click over, but you are a product experience specialist. So you pay a little bit more, you get a lot more, and you get the quality of Porsche, wouldn't you say? Exactly. All right, well, where can people find out more about Porsche and what you guys are doing? They can go on the website, Porsche.com. There we go. Easy peasy, you know how to do it, you know where to go. And uh, what do you think? Can I take one of these for a test drive right now? The security guys won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like fun. My name is Andy. His name is Calvin. But the big question is, what do you call the name of this automobile manufacturer? Is it Porsche or Porsche? Now, if you just read the letters, it is Porsche. But it's Ferdinand Porsche's name. And his family pronounced it Porsche. So there we have the pronunciation. There we go. So if I wanted to say my name was Anday, then everyone would have to call me Anday, right? That's exactly right. Anyway. Anday. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Anday Peak for International Press Association. Let's check out some more Porsches and other cool cars on this floor at the Javits Center. Hi, 
I'm Amy Bursar, reporting live from the New York International Auto Show for the International Press Association. One of the great benefits of being an IPA member is you get access to behind the scenes coverage and you get to cover real live media events. At IPA, we say you learn by doing. So join now.